just keep going. From the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III and welcome to a special episode of The Oak Zone. The words I have to share with you is something that's relevant to what's going on right now and what's going on today. From my understanding, there is a certain type of Delta variant of this COVID virus that's going on. And I'm sure that there are people that are telling themselves to prepare themselves or brace themselves for another impact or you also have other people that have different opinions regarding this. As for a person who went through the mild symptoms of the COVID virus last November, all I could tell you is this is nothing to play around with. COVID is definitely real and I went through some of the symptoms that I had to go through, whether it be the increase in the temperatures, the dramatic loss in the weight, or or going through some sense of loss of smell. I went through those things and I got to tell you that is nothing to play around with. And yes, I did have a relative who lost his life to the virus. And there are other people out there who lost their brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers to this unknown disease. And all I got to tell you that is when I went through this mild symptom of the virus, I will admit the first couple of days, I was a little depressed, I was concerned, and I was worried about what's going to happen. But I had to make a choice. Either I was gonna stay in this state of worry, stay in this anxiety, and do whatever I can to be in this type of funk, or I could do the best with what I have and make the best of situations. No matter how COVID was going to treat me, I was going to find some positive things to do, as well as some some type of things that could keep me busy and could keep me constructive when I was quarantined in the house. And I got to tell you that as long as I have air in my lungs and as long as I have a good breath here and there, I chose the latter. I chose to keep going. There's this old verbiage is if you're in hell, don't stay in hell. Just keep running and keep going until you see that light. And if you see that light, then you know you'll be okay, you'll be good graces. And with this thanks to the thought process on running through hell, all I got to say is it has helped me out immensely on what I had to deal with this past November. This is an unpredictable virus. And all I got to, all I can tell you is no matter how, what you think or how you feel, no matter what the news media tries to tell you, no matter what social media tries to tell you, if you ever find yourself in a situation that I was in this past November, you have a choice to make. Again, as long as you have breath in your body, as long as you're able to get up and get out of bed, as long as you're able to wake up, you have two choices to make. Either you can let this get you down or you're going to keep going through until you are in a better position. As I like to say before, if you're going through hell, just keep going through hell. It does not do you any good to actually sit in the middle of hell, especially if you're wearing gasoline drawers. So happy people, from me to you, if you're going through this type of stuff, please just keep going. This is Jessica the Third, and until next time, you take care and have yourself a great day. Bye.